there and welcome to House of Science Science with Mahi Hanna. Today we are looking at our new kit, one of our newest kits that we have. It is our food for thought kit and we're experimenting with milk and we're going to have a go at making cheese today. The food for thought kit that we will be exploring today looks at different foods and it explores the textures, the flavours, the colours and the structure of foods and how you can add and change different ingredients so that you come up with different structures, different flavours, different tastes. For this experiment you will need 250 ml of milk, some white vinegar, some salt, measuring spoons, a saucer, a container and a string. Pour the milk into the saucepan. Add a pinch of salt, which is actually a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And now we're going to heat it up. Turn on the heat. So you want to heat the milk up and as it starts to bubble, start stirring with a wooden spoon. Don't have your heat too high because you'll scold the bottom of the pan. Once you see bubbles appear on the top, then you're ready to take the pan off the heat and add your vinegar. I'm going to use the white vinegar out of my own cupboard instead of the House of Science um, ingredient because I'm going to have a go at eating this. If I was to use anything out of this kit, one of the things that we want to make sure that we're doing is not actually eating any of these items. So I'll just leave that over there. Now we're going to add one and a half tablespoons. of white vinegar and once you start to slowly stir you can see that the curds are starting to appear. So milk curdles when its pH drops so by adding an acid like white vinegar we are allowing this process to work. The watery liquid is the whey and the solid that we are going to be making into cheese is the curds. For this experiment we are investigating curds and whey. Milk is a mixture which contains water, sugar, protein, fats and minerals. Even though it looks like a liquid it is actually a liquid that has suspended solids. That is how we get the cheese. At this point don't stir really vigorously if you do that, then you're going to break up the protein. So you want to be just stirring very lightly. Or just move it and around the pan. Now I could um, add this back to the heat and even add a little bit more vinegar if I want to, to get even more of the uh, curds to split away from the whey. But in this case, I'm just going to move ahead. And strain it. So I've done this a few times now and I've found that using some sort of Chucks product that's never been used before. It's a really good way to strain the product and then you can just throw it in the bin afterwards or give it a good clean and reuse it. So carefully, because remember that this is really hot, pour it into the container. And you can see here that the whey is straining away. And you're left with the curds. Wait for it to cool down a bit. You can make this as hard or as soft as you want. In this case, I want to make a nice soft ricotta type cheese. And there you go, there you have it. Here is your way. And here.
hear you kids. I'm going to add a little bit of chives for some flavor. Put it out onto my plate. Voila! Cheese and crackers, anyone? Have a scientastic day!